Yo, what's going on guys? It's Scott here, and today we're going to talk about who will earn the Lakers' starting spots. Rob Palenka said in his press conference that LeBron James is the only guaranteed starter next season. This is certainly true, and each position will have plenty of competition, but the most important aspect of a starting lineup is the ability to match up with any team. When they close games, then they can go with whatever's necessary for that particular game. As far as their roster right now, it seems pretty stable. They didn't re-sign Brooke Lopez, and the Kawhi Leonard trade talks seem to have died down, so this is most likely the group that will begin next season. The only position they might add depth to would be center, but the best available centers are Greg Monroe and Alex Len, who really wouldn't make that big of an impact with this team. At this point, we should expect JaVale McGee to be the starter with Mo Wagner coming off the bench, and Avica Zubak may be an option as well. At power forward, they really only have LeBron James and Kyle Kuzma. LeBron seems comfortable playing that position as he's played there a lot in Cleveland, and he even started there in Miami. He'll certainly start at power forward next season with Kyle Kuzma coming off the bench. Kuzma could play either three or four, but with the numerous wings on the roster, he may have to stick to playing the four. Then also, we might end up seeing Brandon Ingram slide to the four at times if the matchup suits him. He has been building muscle and certainly has the height to play the four, but it all depends on if he's comfortable guarding players in that position. As a starter though, he'll play the three. In terms of the shooting guard position, it will be interesting to see who starts. KCP, Lance Stevenson, Josh Hart, and even Svi Mikhailuk all look like they could start at that position. Right now, it looks like KCP will be the starter because he was the starter last season and and he should fit pretty well with LeBron. For Lance Stevenson and Josh Hart, they'll both pretty much come off the bench to play the two and three positions, and they'll play depending on who else is on the court, which I'll get into later. I have to mention that Svi Mikhailuk has looked good in the summer league, and his shooting has been great so far. He's also shown that he can make plays with the ball and finish at the rim, which is exciting to see. Unfortunately, he may be out of the rotation at the start of the season, because there's so much competition at the wing positions right now. There will be a point where the Lakers will need more shooting, and he'll get some minutes off the bench. He also could be the first guy to fill in if someone goes down with an injury. Then at point guard, we should expect Lonzo to be the starter if he's healthy, with Rondo coming off the bench. Lonzo should be extra motivated now that he has competition for the position, and that may help him solidify his spot in the starting lineup. For the rotation, it still looks pretty similar to the one I had previously, with the same starting five, as well as some staggering of the minutes between LeBron James and Brandon Ingram. LeBron could start playing as sort of a small ball center for their closing lineup at the end of the first and second half. The reason to play LeBron at the five is that allows the Lakers to slide in Kyle Kuzma, which would give the Lakers a versatile, small lineup that can switch everything. Lance Stevenson should come off the bench with Mo Wagner, and JaVale McGee should play a lot with Josh Hart. These combinations both give the Lakers a capable shooter, which allows them to have three quality shooters on the floor at all times. It also makes a lot of sense because Mo will be able to play off of Lance's dribble penetration, and Hart will be able to space the floor for JaVale's lobs. We should expect this rotation to change a lot throughout the season, and Luke Walton always tries to play with who has it going, and what is necessary for that particular game. This should be a good starting point though, and it's a good foundation for how many minutes we should expect everyone to play. If you guys want to use this rotation for your My League and are on Xbox, then make sure you download Brian D for 3's roster before beginning. Then when you get to your rotation, press Y for load rotations and search for scottball 7 and click the one named Lakers1819 rotation. That's all I have for this video guys, I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see daily Laker content throughout the offseason, and leave a like if you enjoyed, and thank Thanks for watching.